good afternoon it is warm out here i'm trying to do this by hand but i'm taking up the temporary fencing they've ate this field down not a lot i mean it's still got a good bit of eating left to do however i'm gonna go ahead and move them because the new spot over there behind the garden i don't know if you can see cause it's kind of humid outside where the sun's hitting uh, and all the fog's on but um it's high and it needs to be eight down um they're actually my rotational grazing is doing great on this side the other side of the house it, the grass is just struggling because we have we've actually lost um we've really lost uh um uh, rain lately so it's just kind of dry so what we're going to do is go ahead and move these three cows on this side over here my dairy cow i will bring over here during the day just so she can have some really good uh thick grass but other than that this grass over here is doing wonderful um but the grass on the other side just it's kind of stunted um the rye died and uh the bermuda's taking a little bit to kind of kick back off we're supposed to have some rain here in south mississippi maybe in the next few days so hopefully that'll kind of kick start it um but you know like i said this grass is really good still it's still got about three or four inches that they could eat down but instead of letting them just tear it down why we don't have a lot of rain so it's not growing as quick i'm gonna let them get off of it get on this uh six to eight inch patch over here and uh that way we can conserve this and i'll go and put my dairy cow closer to the house on this so um we'll get it moved this is what i love look at this this is wild blueberry or blackberries which we call them dewberries i don't know the proper name look at that they're just growing wild right here on the edge of the woods where we're putting up the temporary fence and see this is where the fence was this is where the berries are I mean, they're everywhere but this is just one patch of them and this is where we put the new fence so it's amazing how god you know god just provides food right here at you if we just look for it um look at that how beautiful those berries are i really feel a blackberry dewberry cobbler coming on with a fresh thing of ice cream here's the gate you know this was the paddock so what we're gonna do now if you see that t-post right here I'm gonna make a lane coming right here so that way they can be in in this lane right next to the fence to get to that paddock over there so we're gonna start on that now we're gonna use some t-post we're actually probably don't tell the cows please don't tell the cows it's a secret but we're probably not gonna light that part of the fence up just simply because it makes them believe it's lit up because ultimately they need to be over there and i really don't have enough wire just to run it just to keep this hot when they're just making a pass from you know here to there so we're going to just put it there but shh, don't don't tell the cows fake strands up aiden's rolling up the last of the the old wire it's around eight eight o'clock so we're gonna have to cut it off for the night because it's getting a little dark so uh, we're not gonna be able to run this other um fence yet so they'll stay in their permanent fence in the night and then we'll feed them with hay and then we'll put them in here tomorrow once we get the fence ran so well we got the second fence up we only did two strands it's, it's pretty tight i'll probably regret saying that but they're in it we're gonna let them eat this little paddock now uh, we got the solar charger on we got to get the ground rod in so let's get the ground rod in but they're doing good we're gonna let them eat here you know it's it's high grass everywhere good 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 behavior and good bermuda and uh like i said i think they're going they're going to enjoy this we're going to let them stay here for about two days three days rotate them back to that other paddock over there and then it's the other side of the house you see <laughs> she's jealous she's got better grass over there and she's jealous she just wants to be with them we're going to finish up some potatoes today get them all dug up and plant something else there i think we got some peppers to go right back in there their area we're gonna put some compost and manure back in there to make it better but we're eventually gonna get the the peppers planted right over where the potatoes were Tell me what y'all are doing, guys. Picking potatoes. What 
Look at that. You are doing pretty good. Big and small and all, huh? Getting them on? Purple, red, uh, gold. Ellie, what are you doing? Tell me what you're doing. Picking tomatoes? Tomatoes? You picking tomatoes? What are you doing? Picking potatoes. Potatoes. That's right. Well, we're finishing our morning project. We've got uh, Elsa over to her uh, new fields to where she can get some fresh grass on the other side. We've got that field resting now, which is our permanent fence. You see how there's no dirt showing. The grass looks like you just took a mower and cut it other than the manure. So you see how great they've done there. Uh, again, rotational grazing. Let's, let's just walk, I wanna show you this, how cool uh, this grass is. You see, it's down to just literally nothing. That's where they trample where the feed was and also where the water was. So that's why it looks like that. But other than that, there's like no, nothing but grass. I want to show you this over here. Let's walk. Now, last week, or about a week ago, about two weeks ago, actually, they uh, were in this field. Now, I took the temporary fencing up, uh, you know, yesterday, which is in this video. But look how cool this is. We cut this. This is just grass I cut like yard. Look at this. Look at that definitive line. Can you see that line? See how high that grass is compared to that? That shows in a week, once cows are on it, they're fertilizing it. Let's see, maybe you can see it right there. So look at that line. See that line? It's a definitive line. Now we cut this grass and, and you know it's, it's going to grow back. But this is where the cows has been. Just in a week's time, look at the height of this grass. I don't know if you can tell. I mean, it's, it's just already so high. And again, what's so neat about them is not only are they cutting the grass by eating it, they're actually fertilizing the grass uh, with their manure so it's, it's it's like twofold so you you they're eating it down but ultimately they're they're making it get uh what it needs back to grow better so we'll let this one heal for about another two weeks and by the time we let it heal for two weeks it's already up to about four inches but if we let it heal just a little bit longer man it'll be almost knee deep so just just an awesome thing uh, you can see on the creek it is already knee deep you still got some old everglades weeds that that i got to cut out but Look how thick the grass itself though is. You can tell it's already so thick right there on that little that little creek ditch. And again, they're in the new paddock. So we're gonna end this video. It's been a great video, great day. It's hot. Uh, we've got the garden water going just because it's it's miserable out here right now and it's been so dry. So I hope you enjoyed the video, just a little video of us taking down a fence, putting up a fence, looking at the cows, look how pretty they look. And uh, just enjoying the beautiful day. So it's been a great day. If you uh, have not subscribed or, or uh, haven't ever commented to us, please comment to us. We always enjoy, uh, you know, hearing from you and, and conversating back and forth. You know, we're just a bunch of people trying to get all this right. So uh, there's nothing like trying to homestead together. So if you could comment, subscribe. If you had not subscribed, uh, please subscribe. If you have subscribed, ring the bell. Make sure you know when we got a new video coming out. So you can keep up with the max. We hope you have a good day. Happy homesteading, y'all.